ऑब्वियसली फिल्म का एक ही मैसेज जो आई थिंक जब से हमें इंडिपेंडेंस मिला है आफ्टर फ्यू इयर्स वी हैव ऑल कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड ऑन कीपिंग द कंट्री क्लीन एंड आई थिंक जो ये फिल्म का जो टॉपिक है स्वच्छ भारत इट्स अमेजिंग एंड इसीलिए जब मुझे एक छोटा सा पार्ट करने का मौका मिला फिल्म में तो मुझे ऐसा लगा आई हैव टू बिकॉज देर आर सर्टन फिल्म जहाँ पे आप लीड हो आप कितने इम्पॉर्टेंट हो और फिल्म में मेरा कितना लेंथ है दैट डज इंट मैटर वॉट मैटर्स इज दट यू पार्ट ऑफ अ फिल्म लाइक टुडे जब वेन यू सी बा हो बली यू फील ओ आई विश आई वॉज अ पार्ट ऑफ इट मैं एक एलिफेंट भी होती तो चलता यू नो देर आर सर्टन फिल्म इन लाइफ दैट यू वॉन्ट टू बी अ पार्ट ऑफ दैट फिल्म इन एनी विच वेज तो वैन आई वॉज ऑफर दिस आई वॉज लाइक ओ इट्स अमेजिंग एनी विच वे स्पेशल कैमियो करना था बहुत एक्ट्रेसिस लोग आती है यू नो इन लॉर्ड ऑफ फिल्म एंड दे गिव अ झलक एंड दे गो यू नो वेर यू सी द डांसिस एंड ऑल दिल जस्ट कम एंड डू अ स्मॉल कैमियो I said it doesn't matter. It's there to date, and uh, uh, Bollywood is not that type. कि आपको immediately stereotype कर देगा कि नहीं अब अच्छा cameo ये. They understand you're an actor. Your film is just released. You've done a cameo because the project is good. The film is good, and obviously I am a, pa- a fan of Neeraj Pandey films, and I love all his films. And obviously Akshay Kumar sir is also a part of. Uh, the film and he has been a part of everybody's life since we were growing up you know i used to see all his khiladi films and all his comedy films i still remember this one film which i loved till now it's called uh, mr and mrs khiladi mm-hmm. i can see that every day you know that's that was one of my most favorite film when i was young to jab uh, aapko mauka milta hai itne uh, bade makers aur itne behtareen makers ke sath kaam karne aur actors jo overall inka you know overall the gang of neeraj pandey film so you were like why not obviously you i also want to do a film which is little more serious and you know mujhe bhi different type ki subject karna hai so ek uh, as an actor i think any actor would think ke it's good to get associated with them jab aap apna kaam dikhaoge tab logo ko pata chalega ke you know uh, what caliber you have or what all looks you can fit in because generally people just uh, general is you and you know glamour look and sexy look and more modern look people would never think of me of a traditional girl and i always wanted to do neeraj pandey films from very beginning from the time i've seen all his films special chabbi so ya bahut purani aap jo bhi film le lo lately jo bhi le lo biopics le lo uske andar especially jo unki ladkiyon ka character hota hai it's very indian very simple so i was like why not take this chance and you know be a part of this film and at least uh, uh, ek to jo director ke sath aapko kaam karne ki khwahish hai aap unke sath bhi you know us production mein of course he is not directing this but aap unki production mein bhi kaam kar lete ho and secondly he sees that look in you which he generally likes in girls and uh, i think that was an opportunity for me and more than that i was like कि ये फिल्म ही इतने अच्छे सब्जेक्ट पे बन रही है विच इज़ स्वच्छ भारत एंड आई एव ऑलवेज बीन सपोर्टिंग सच स्वच्छ भारत फ्रॉम माई चाइल्ड हुड आई वॉज नेवर चाइल्ड हुड टू लिटर यूर एंड देयर बचपन से ही मैं वैसी थी आई थिंक हमारा घर का अपब्रिंगिंग ही इज़ लाइक दैट यू नो वेयर वेन योर योर यंग योर स्मॉल योर मॉम इज़ लाइक थ्रू एवरी थिंग इन द डस्टबिन थ्रू दिस थ्रू दैट आई नेवर यूज टू इन फैक्ट I still remember every Sunday in my old house, uh, we used to uh, wash the whole house, and I used to be the one who used to scrub the floor. Mm-hmm. So uh, my mom used to say, "Okay, you know, थोड़ा सा साबुन डालो," and you know, उसको घसों में इतना घस देती और इतना ज़्यादा साबुन डाल देती थी कि उसके बाद एक घंटा लगता था just to clear that soap off. So you know, uh, that's the reason I think. Uh, it's a very very uh, it is there in me since my childhood only ki i have to keep everything clean and uh, so jab ye film aayi to i was like yeah why not this is also something that i believe in aap bahut sari filme karte ho because uh, movie hai cinematic liberty hai aap kuch bhi karte ho but then there are certain subjects that you believe in ki this is what i am as a person so i was like chalo if even if it's a small portion i am happy that i'm part of it mm-hmm. I don't know नहीं audition तो नहीं देना पड़ा I think uh, I was just uh, gymming in my gym and I got a message and then I called them up they told me I'm calling from the production and I spoke to them and then first I thought I thought there was something bigger but then they told me it's a cameo so I was like अच्छा I don't know if I am okay for a cameo now और क्या करूँ then of course uh, I spoke to few people because हर इंसान को लगता है अभी तो मैंने एक फर्स्ट फिल्म की है एज ए लीड यू नो इमीजिएटली आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू जम्प इन टू समथिंग एंड पीपल कैटेगराइज डर होता ही है ऑब्वियसली बिकॉज आई आई हैड इट टुक मी टू ईयर्स टू ब्रेक ब्रेक दैट स्टीरियो टाइप के आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू डू अ कैम यू आफ्टर जय हो एंड इट टुक मी टू ईयर्स टू गेट मी वजह तुम हो एज ए लीड सो आई डेंट वॉन्ट टू गो बैक टू द सेम थिंग अगेन एंड फील के अगेन आई गुड डू अ कैम यू एंड अगेन आई गो बैक टू स्क्वेयर वन सो आई वॉज लिटिल यू नो मेरा माइंड थोड़ा यहाँ हुआ था एट दैट मॉइंट ऑफ टाइम बट अंदर ही अंदर था नो बट आई वॉन्ट टू वर्क बट दू कैन बॉलीवुड देर आर सर्टन सिचुएशन इन योर इनिशियल ग्रोइंग यर्स आई थिंक इन माई दिस टाइम वैन आफ्टर वजह तो मैं वॉज लाइक यू नो अंदर से आई वॉन्ट टू डू द फिल्म बट बाहर से आई एम थिंकिंग विल इट 
वर्क फॉर मी इट शुड इन बिकम के पीपल पीपल आर जस्ट वेटिंग के नहीं अभी आपने ये कर लिया अभी आप यही कर सकते हो नो बिकॉज इट्स वेरी क्विक फॉर पीपल टू डू दैट सो आई थिंक दैट वॉज देयर इन माई माइंड के करूँ नहीं करूँ करूँ नहीं करूँ ऐसा भी नहीं दैट आई एम थ्रू आउट इन द फिल्म यू नो इट्स 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 अ कैमरी इट्स अ प्रॉपर कैमरी यू कम फॉर अ शॉट एंड यू गो इट्स डन सो आई वॉज लाइक इट्स टू स्मॉल ऑफ अ कैमरी इट्स लाइक अ स्पेशल अपियरेंस यू कैन विन कॉल इट अ कैमरी इट्स लाइक अ स्पेशल अपियरेंस जो आप आए एक झलक दिखाई कुछ किया आपने यू योर लेफ्ट देन आई सेट स्टिल आई वॉन्ट टू मीट एंड आई सेट आई लिसन टू द थिंग फिर देन देन दिन रेटेड मी द पार्ट ऑफ माइंड यू नो जो मेरा स्क्रीन स्क्रीन टाइम है और जो मेरा सीन है एंड आई वॉज लाइक दिस लुक्स वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग सो आई वॉज लाइक वॉट इज़ अ लुक दिन द टोन मी द लुक आई सेट द लुक इज इवन मोर इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज आई हैव नेवर डन दैट बिफोर सो आई वॉज लाइक ओके आई एम ऑन बोर्ड आई सेट ज़्यादा सोचना नहीं है मुझे बिल्कुल भी बिकॉज Uh, it's it's a special appearance people will know it's a special appearance and i'm happy ke after a very hot film like vajah tum ho people considered me in a rustic role which is a very uh, village looking role mm-hmm. actually the girl is a very in, in a cotton salwar kameez like it's a gaon ka ladki ka look in a simple salwar kameez so i was like at least somebody saw me in a different uh, character so i think that was something which i was more happy that you know wo uh, aapko versatile kaam karna hai but jab aapko log us tarike se dekhte to aap itne why do you start thinking so much just do it and i was like i'm going to do it yeah uh, actually after vaja to mo last year i had little physical issues i had lot of physical issues i was uh, um, i had lot of hormonal imbalances and because of that i was somewhere even though i was working out very hard jaise i'm working out today but i was just not losing weight so i used to go to my physiotherapist and get my system uh, corrected because my immune system jo tha wo itna low ho gaya tha ke uh, i was just bloating आफ्टर सो जो भी मेरा बॉडी वेट भी था लास्ट टाइम इफ यू सी नाउ ऑफ कोर्स एम सेवन के जी इज लेस बट उस टाइम भी आई वॉज वर्किंग इक्वली हार्ड बट माई बॉडी वॉज जस्ट नॉट टेकिंग इट एंड आई वॉज लाइक शिट नाउ वॉट डू आई डू अबाउट इट तो ट्रीटमेंट एवरी थिंग वॉज गोइंग ऑन एंड देन फ्रॉम जनवरी एवरी थिंग बिकेम स्टेबल माई बॉडी स्टार्टड रिएक्टिंग प्रॉपरली बिकॉज ऑफ द ट्रीटमेंट दर आई वॉज गोइंग थ्रू द फिजियो एंड एवरी थिंग एंड देन आई स्टार्ट वर्किंग आउट रियली हार्ड एंड देन आई गॉट दिस फिल्म आई थिंक दे कॉल्ड मी लाइक almost 10 days before in that process i think i lost 2 more kgs but my process was already on because i was like ek film ho gayi hai it's already released but if i'm looking forward to get better and do better i also have to get better mm-hmm. so obviously when you are an actor you have to see that your weight is stable mai actually from last 3 4 years i was fighting to lose that 5 kgs my body was just not losing 5 kgs i don't know why after every day of gymming and then i got my check up done and everything and then i got to know that there are certain problems in the body why i'm not losing weight and then luckily i saw it written today i am good and everything is gone and the weight is going and i'm feeling happy because obviously ab gym bhi jate ho ab roz jate ho you work out so hard and aapko result nahi dikhta hai to aapko samajh mein nahi aata hai aap kare kya because you're spending so much of money in the gym you're spending so much of time in the gym and obviously you take care of your diet you give up so many things and then you're like why am i not getting the results so i think uh, that was my very i was somewhere mentally you know very low that why am i not losing weight because i'm not a tall girl and if i put on weight i look even more shorter so i just don't know what to do but i'm glad that i found a solution and i think every girl should when aapko kuch lagta hai aapki body mein kuch change nahi ho raha hai it's not happening the way you want to i think you need a check up then so that's very very important me but that's very important because bahut time bahut saare logo ko lagta hai main gym kar rahi hu mera weight loss nahi ho raha main diet pe hu to bhi mujhe workout nahi ho raha hai to un sab ke liye ek treatment hota hai check up your blood ye sab usme wo log aapko batate hai ki you know because of what you're not losing weight or because of what any problem is happening internally what is happening to your body nobody knows so it's very important that you check yourself and you're checking any which way is annual checkup is a must i do it and my mother does it we all do our annual checkup of you know checking the blood and seeing everything is fine or no we do head to toe checkup irrespective and whatever we find is not perfect then we try to treat it i think jis mein aapko pehle bola it's a small it's a special small appearance but obviously wo character kuch to hogi she is not a random girl so obviously the character of that cameo is a girlfriend and it's ha huh, like she's called like she is a girlfriend aisa nahi that like they have a history or something it's a cameo but yeah. the character is girlfriend so uh, it's a very cute character it's a nice romantic character i don't want to give more details but it's it's a nice fun character i think people are going to like it it's 
it's it's a sweet thing it's not like okay like when i went for dubbing i was like oh i'm happy with the cameo that i've done and i when i came back i said generally jab aap film mein kuch chhota sa karte ho aapko aisa lagta hai theek hai kar diya you know big deal uh, this is not going to change my life or anything is going to happen but i don't know if it's going to change my life my career or anything but i know one thing that i am very happy after doing it and i think that is what matters eventually uh, mujhe aisa lagta hai ki whatever kaam jo bhi mujhe karna hai i have to be happy like i want to talk about it it i get a lot of films i get a lot of offers but i just feel somewhere it's not up to the mark like the kind of work i want i feel somewhere that is missing so anything that impresses me or you know makes me feel that this is the right thing i want to do i do it no obviously see you're a you're a village girl but obviously you're a pretty girl, looking girl you know i'm not playing a beggar in the film i'm going to be looking pretty in the film if i'm going to wear salwar kameez that doesn't mean i'm going to start looking ugly in fact girls look i feel prettier in indian wear you know aap salwar suit pehante ho saree pehante ho mujhe lagta hai aap zyada sundar dikhte ho jo fat saree mein to ha so it's it's traditional you can no western outfit can take over any traditional look so i think traditional always makes you look pretty but this is like little more aisa bhi nahi traditional mein like how a nice indian girl as it's not like a dihati girl who knows nothing jo main se chara ghuma rahi hu it's not even like that kind of a character it's like a nice sweet girl but but like a village girl so village girl ki jo ek normal salwar suit cotton hota hai something like that but again it's a pretty girl she's nice she's pretty she's vibrant so that scene will talk for itself mm-hmm. uh Fun. yeah in in no no i think jai ho maybe i was in salwar yeah. suit but uh, of course fir usme mai i was playing a negative villain yeah. and all but of course i did salwar suit but this is not that that was like a high end salwar suit look where up you know rich kapde pehen rahe you are the clothes are very uh, middle lower middle class type dress hai but the story is not like that but the dress is for me it's definitely like that <laughs> the story has like a village ab village jaoge to jo log pehnte hai aap wohi pehnoge na because obviously they're not going to wear a manish malhotra or a sabbe sachi over there so it's like that i think as an actor you always feel ki you have given your best and obviously i think aap kitna bhi best de do aap jaise jaise ek ek film graduate karte ho you still there are chances of you becoming better because uh, you know you become more confident as an actor aapka ek compatibility aapke teams you know to interact with your director cameraman your actor everything changes everything changes with time today what i am i wasn't this 5 years back or maybe even 3 years back so time changes you change you graduate you become a better person you become a better actor everything needs polishing kehte na practice makes a man perfect so you need practicing you cannot practice all alone at home who's going to see it and you don't even know what you're doing so every project is you give your best but you're still in a way practicing and you are getting better so you just feel that okay this is what i had to offer for this role i gave my everything maybe aage jaake shayad mujhe yahi role ke liye is type ke look ke liye ek full fledged film mile जो मुझे आज लगता है मैंने हंड्रेड परसेंट दिया कल शायद मुझे लगी कि नहीं शायद मैं इससे भी अच्छा कर सकती हूँ सो आई थिंक जैसे जैसे यू नो ग्रेजुअली टाइम जाता है थिंग्स चेंज सो आई थिंक दैट्स व्हाट इट इज बट आई एम श्योर दैट पीपल आर गोन लाइक इट लाइक दे गोन फील लाइक इट वॉज अ क्यूट वन यू नो इट वॉज नॉट समथिंग हाँ ठीक है आई वॉज देर इट इट्स नॉट गोन बी दैट फॉर श्योर नहीं अगर मैं टीचर होती तो मैं बहुत बुरी टीचर होती बिकॉज uh, नहीं 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 मैं 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 एक्चुअली बचपन में जब जो बच्चे होते हैं जनरली उनको टीचर टीचर खेलने का बहुत शौक होता है मुझे कभी टीचर टीचर खेलने का शौक ही नहीं था मैं सीधा पनिश कर देती थी आई वॉज अ वेरी आई वॉज आई वॉज अ डिक्टेटर आई कॉन्ट बी अ टीचर सो बट विथ टाइम I am practicing and becoming a better person. मेरे घर में भी people feel I'm a dictator because I have to see that they eat on time. Like I am like a stupid teacher who is having a lot of rules and regulation. So my friends say के जो तेरा constitution है ना उसमें amendments जो है ना every time change होते रहते हैं. So we don't know how to exist with you. Can you just tell us what to do? <laughs> So my friends are like to be in a relationship with you as a friend we have to be careful ke aaj ye kaun sa amendment nikalne wali hai <laughs> because we are clueless so i think that that that's of course on a lot light a lighter uh, side but yeah but turn um, why don't i like oh, i want to be a custom officer but i couldn't i want to be a police officer when i was very young i always thought that they do so much for our country i still sometimes feel i wish i was a soldier which is a very weird thing but you know uh, when when people say ke uh, theater mein jana gana man hota and you should not stand i i feel why should we not stand aap mm-hmm. apna max ye kar sakte ho ke when the thing is played you give mm-hmm. them respect they can't see us but you can feel and you know what they're going through 
जो इंसान इज स्टैंडिंग देर ऑन द बॉर्डर्स एंड सेविंग आर लाइफ एंड फ्रीजिंग टू डेथ वी कान स्टैंड फॉर देम फॉर टू मिनट्स आप कौन सा घर में रोज सुबह जना गना मना लगाते हो सो दैट्स द ओनली टाइम यू गेट सो आई थिंक इवन दो सुप्रीम कोर्ट हैज मेड अ रूल दैट इट्स नॉट कंपलसरी दैट्स वॉट दिव मेड बट आई स्टिल फील दैट ओनली फॉर द रिस्पेक्ट दैट यू आर सेफ इन योर कंट्री इज बिकॉज ऑफ दैम एंड यू मस्ट पे दैट रिस्पेक्ट ऑब्वियसली बहुत अच्छा था इट वॉज अ वेरी स्मॉल टाइम लाइक अ वेरी थोड़ा सा टाइम दर आई स्पेंड विद हिम बट ही इज अमेजिंग ही रियली मेड मी फील वेरी कम्फर्टेबल इट टुक मी लाइक ट्वेंटी टेक्स टू बी कम्फर्टेबल बट नो टेक्स से पहले वी डिड द रिहर्सल्स एंड एवरी टाइम इज लाइक आई यू कम्फर्टेबल आई लाइक या इज लाइक नो यू आर नॉट आई लाइक नो आई एम नॉट यू नो मैंने सी द फिल्म आप कहते ना ये ठीक है बोले हाँ पूरे नहीं दिख नहीं रहे बोले नहीं बिल्कुल आपने सही बोला सो आई थिंक इट रियली टुक मी अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम to to have that lovey dovey kind of a scene with him like you know just on talking basis huh? so scene wise i was like shit man i can't get it i can't get it so to ease that thing out as a person you know it takes because when i mai mere south mein bhi problem hota tha ki jab when i used to do uh, shooting and jab mai kisi ko naya naya milti thi mai waisa bhi itna baat hota nahi tha but देर वॉज अ सीन आई स्टिल रिमेंबर इन माई साउथ फिल्म मैं माई एक्टर वॉज सिटिंग और मुझे पीछे बैठना था तेलुगू फिल्म है एंड हम दोनों गर्ल फ्रेंड बॉय फ्रेंड है वो बाइक चलाता है मुझे उसे पकड़ना है मैंने कहा ओके बाइक चली सब हो गया मैं ऐसे बैठी थी हाथ रख के ठीक है तो मेरे एक्टर ने मुझे बोला कि मुझे ऐसा लगा मेरे पीछे कोई लड़की नहीं कोई डॉगी बैठा हुल्ड हर बॉय फ्रेंड लाइक so i was like i'm sorry it takes me a lot of time to get comfortable and i am not someone ki mai set pe aate barabari aap mujhe romantic scene de doge aur mai you know mujhe kisi ko aise touch karne mein bhi i am very different as a person it took me a lot of time even during vaja tum ho like i still remember mera first scene jo entry ka tha and gurmeet had to hold me i couldn't stop laughing and vishal is like can you do the scene and stop laughing i said i don't know because If I have to do a romantic scene ना मेरी हंसी छूट जाती है आई एम सो बैड इन डूइंग रोमांटिक सीन्स मेरे कोई भी रोमांटिक सीन्स जितने भी शूट होते हैं मुझे बहुत हंसी आती है मुझे पता नहीं क्यों आती है जबकि नहीं आना चाहिए तो रोमांटिक सीन बट आई जस्ट फील सो फनी मुझे फनी सीन में भी इतनी हंसी नहीं आती है जितनी रोमांटिक में आती है सो आई ऑलवेज हैड दिस प्रॉब्लम सो विथ इवन इन दिस सीन आई हैड द सेम थिंग लाइक आफ्टर द सीन इज टेलिंग मी ओके यू नो लाइक इफ इज टेलिंग मी यू यू कैन होल्ड मी यू then i'm going to hold him like like this <laughs> don't do it like that so i think i have this problem mujhe mujhe aisa lagta hai kisi ko lag na jaye kisi ko kuch na ho jaye thoda you know thodi main uncomfortable ho jati hu and i think but when you have a good co-star they make you feel comfortable and i think that's what he did he made me feel very comfortable ji to aapke sath ji mai sath dono bhi hua hai because jab hum ek scene complete karte jab wo shot ek ek jo ek close hai complete karte the और वापस से जब रन थ्रू एक ओवरऑल सीन का होता था बिकॉज इट वॉज अ यू नो टू थ्री कैमरा सेटअप होता है एक ओवरऑल ओवर फुल होता है और एक क्लोजअप से होते हैं एवरी टाइम यूज टू डू समथिंग न्यू एंड आई वॉज लाइक वी डेंट रिहर्स दिस लाइक मुझे ऐसा सो आफ्टर टू थ्री टेक्स आई रियलाइज दैट आई हैव टू बी रेडी फॉर वट एवर न्यू ही गिवज इन सो दैट आई कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट नो मैटर वॉट इट डज आई हैव टू बी इन द क्यू लाइक certain things i don't want to say everything now but probably maybe after the shoot you know after the film is out or something there were certain things that was like then i said like you didn't do this last time to me he's like like okay next time i will do that i was like because i'm following that cue now so i think that way he does lot of new things so you have to be very alert uh, and of course if you're working with somebody who's so good in comedy unka comedy timing is amazing so you have to keep that thing up that's when a chemistry is built secondly of course wo bahut hasate hai you know and he is a very funny guy he has a nice delhi slang agar aapne unse kabhi baat kiya hoga to to jaise wo filmon mein baat karte hai real mein bhi waisi hi baat karte hai and it's very rare to see a actor today to talk in hindi otherwise me generally you know when you see an actor they talk only hindi in films but in real they only talk in english and akshay is one who only talks in hindi even otherwise so it was a very different it's very small thing but it matters you know thoda ek different mahol ho jata hai like oh so cute so even when he was talking normally i realized ki off screen like after cut also he talks in hindi and then he talks in the same slang what he does on screen so i think maybe that's the reason he's so good at it mm-hmm. so it just it was amazing doing scenes and of course that little add ons that he do is amazing for the film unhone wo jo thode se comedy scene thoda bahut tha use aur comedy bana diya eventually well definitely there is something but uh, i'm i'm i'll wait till the official announcements are done but uh, yeah there are few things lined up so i 
no 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 who is going to take me for a biopic i wish people take me for somebody's biopic but uh, i would love to do a biopic but obviously for a biopic you have to i have to prove myself and give better performances and do better films so yeah let's see obviously film ki mein uh, sabke favorite akshay hai so obviously they're going to come and see the film and because of that they're also going to see my work and see something different obviously uh, but uh, not on that scale but i would really first of all i really want to thank everybody who has supported me for this last 5 years whether i have worked i have not worked i think it's uh, today you know even to love your friend is so difficult you know so random people if you love i don't know how people love random people mm-hmm. it's it's very touching to see that that you know people don't even know me personally they've never met me they've never spoken to me but whatever they've seen of me they've become my fan and they like me so thank you and thank you all my fan pages who make such amazing post for me mm-hmm. i would just say that uh, it's a small special appearance from my end in the film a small contribution to the film and to the purpose of the film which is swachh bharat so i support that i i hope that this film brings that message out more strongly and uh, people also start uh, taking swachh bharat more seriously even people in you know rural areas and uh, guys please uh, it's releasing on 11th of august please see the film and what uh, if you like my if you like my work whatever please uh, do give me your reviews and i think that's what what an actor wants so yeah and keep loving me i love you i love you guys back mm-hmm.